Good morning, East Texas. I'm Tom Mitzoff, and this is the Telepaper.com Morning News Update. The bombing of Hiroshima ushered in the nuclear age with a force never before seen. The 70th anniversary of this watershed event on August 6, 1945 is only two days away. 140,000 people were killed in an instant. On most other days, Kimi Mahara would have been one of them, but she lived to talk about it. I could have died in the bombing, but I'm so blessed having survived to live such a happy life. In World War II, she was an interior ministry employee in this building, now known as the Hiroshima Atomic Bombing Dome, one of the only structures left standing after the blast. Mihara should have been inside when the Enola Gay dropped the bomb. I survived because I was late, so I feel I am lucky I wasn't here at that time. But when I think of those who were killed because they were responsible and on time, I am just so sorry for them. The bomb was the first atomic weapon ever used in war. Its sheer strength was meant to make the Japanese surrender. First time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. It took a larger bomb, dropped three days later over the city of Nagasaki to end the war. Now, 70 years since the Hiroshima blast, Mahara is finally able to visit the dome. Her guilt over living while others died is subsiding. I didn't want to see this for a long time. When this was registered as the World Heritage, I thought of coming here, but I still didn't want to see this place. In 1945, the domed building, made of brick, stone, and steel, was in a neighborhood mostly built of wood. It's the only original structure still standing today. Ribun Kayo is hoping to honor the dead by preserving all that remains, collecting fragments of the dome blasted into a nearby river. Even now, there are more artifacts from that time. I think we will find more. I feel like the souls of the dead are here in this place. For Mihara, the memory of that day, 70 years ago, remains. A song of life, her favorite tune, expresses thanks for a life she still has. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press. This morning's featured Focus in on Not Me Photo Gallery was taken by our Kevin Hampton at the John Tyler High School Class of 1980 35th Reunion. All the photos are available for purchase. Visit Focus in on Dot Me by clicking the photos link at the top of any telepaper.com page. Thank you for watching and look for more news updates throughout the day.